hi my friends welcome to maverick channel <laughs> today we have the sky Geo 2 and particularly we will be talking about the beacon i will show you all some few functions that i've learned about this beacon actually it is wonderful man flying this thing with the beacon so um without further ado here we are let us go straight to it um, let us turn the, this bad boy on and of course to turn it on you just have to hit the button for about three seconds the, um, on the battery underneath the drone I think I did it for less than three seconds there so I would let me push it again just that, that this button right here three seconds or more I think that should be good mm -hmm. And of course, we have to wait for the blue light to be steady. And we can now turn on our beacon by press, pressing the icon or the logo of the Sky Geo, the blue logo over there. Okay. It will take a short while for it to connect. Normally, you have to wait for the blue light on the Sky Geo to be steady and then you turn on the beacon so it is waiting right now very soon after this it, it it will search oh okay it decided to update which is also good all right as you can see the it has updated and it is connecting right now now it tell it shows us the level of the battery which is good it is at a hundred percent and it is syncing the gps normally it depends on your location it should not take long to sync to the gps usually under a minute let's say 30 seconds to a minute that should work now here is something you should not do while it is syncing do not connect your cable to the beacon and to the drone as you can see here it says the port is is being used and it stopped or halted the sinking so i took it back off and let it sink normally normally if you want to use the cable to 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 sink your beacon to the drone you have to do it before it starts sinking so right now the GPS signal it is still sinking and of course it will take there about a minute actually it took about 45 minutes I'm um, sorry seconds to sink and now as you can see we are ready to fly so let's jump out and send this bad boy up in the air all right here we are ready to fly <laughs> All you do is you push the blue icon, that is the logo, and hold it for a few seconds. And it should say it is ready to launch. And then, of course, three, two, one, go. Yay! <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, baby. We are airborne. Right, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, as you can see, nice and steady up in the air the almighty sky geo 2 is airborne so now let us get to the most important part let us look um, at some of the functions and how to uh, uh, manipulate or play with the beacon how to use the beacon and fly your drone it has some particularly interesting features that i found out and let's get straight to it all right the top two arrows, the black ones pointing on either direction, could be used to scroll from one function to another. You see, you can move from the fixed orbit to the motion to the hover and also to the steering. And that just allows you to move from one um, phase or stage or function to the other. And if you want to uh, use one of the function all you do is you press the green or oh, sorry the blue logo and it will take you into that function and to bring it down you press the minus sign and if you want to send the drone up 
the plus sign so it goes up and it comes down using the plus or minus and that is true for every function that you are in so whether you are hovering or you are using some of one any of the other function that will allow you to um, go up and down and also if you want to turn around as you see there your you just go to the right you press the right and to the left you press the left and if you want to go forward all you do is you hit the logo itself and it goes forward unfortunately there is no button to bring it back to go in reverse so you have to turn around either by using the left or right um, arrow on top and then you hit the, the, the blue button and then it brings the drone back so that's basically how you use the beacon to move your drone your sky Dio, the sky Dio 2 around to get out of any function all you do is you quickly press the red um, button at the top the red square and it takes you out of that function and you can scroll to which uh, to another function just as you saw there and now I am in the hover um, function and it will hover and at that same spot and it can track you while staying steady at that same level or at that spot and to get out of course you just click on the red square again you move to another um, position and it will automatically operate itself to adjust to that particular function as you just saw there it moved backward and was getting ready to orbit okay as you can see the icon to the top right the eye just gives you the various levels of tracking as you can see right here and that's just simply what that means so this particular one right here is telling me that I haven't, it hasn't really identified me because I did not select myself anyway. I haven't moved yet. So um, up until I start moving, then the icon will change to whatever level that the drone determines um, it has identified the subject that it is tracking. So right now I am moving backward and it's following me and to move to another um, function you can do a fixed tracking it will stay at a particular position and then keeps tracking you and to select that it will move as you move it will follow you and you see as i'm moving right now it is following me <laughs> oh yeah and as you can see it is moving and still identifying that it is um, in the bush and it is dodging and going through the bushes without <laughs> you know having to collide that is fantastic so i'm moving to the right it moves a little bit forward goes around the bush and then <laughs> yep yeah that is one of the beauty of this drone. It will not crash except if it is faulty or someone, something else happens. So um, let us get out of that function, of that angle function. Now we go to pause one, to the motion tracking rather. Let us select that and see what it does. see it is moving and as I am moving it is moving as well following me around tracking me uh, it is it doesn't have a fixed angle it, it decides which ever way it wants to go and if I move to the left it moves to the right or to the left with me and also we can decide to ask it to either track us from the back or the front or from the left or the right and be reminded that up until you start moving that is when the drone will determine which 
area is the front or whether it is in front of you or behind you so it will not automatically know up, up until you start moving yes and as you start moving you will see the eye icon on the left will change for now since i have not started moving it went back to the what i'll call the naked eye and here so if you want it from the front from the left back left you just do that that is how you switch or decide or control the drone or ask the drone which angle you want it to follow you from yes so guys it is very interesting and very easy once you know how to manipulate the beacon it is the best <laughs> you do not really have to bother um, traveling with the remote control if you have a purpose of just having the drone track you then the remote control really doesn't have any major use except if um, the, the drone finds itself in a compromised situation and you want to bring the drone back home it will be easier for you to do for you to use the remote control and bring it back home so um hope you found this video useful please leave a comment below subscribe and of course to land the drone you just hold the square red button and of course it will land so guys thank you very much for watching please leave your comments below subscribe don't forget to hit the subscribe and the um, notification button thank you